This one then says determine the equilibrium constant for the following reaction at 227 degrees Celsius. We have uh, this reaction here. We're trying to determine its equilibrium constant, and we'll call that equilibrium constant Kc. And we have the equilibrium constants for two reactions. And if this reminds you of Hess's law, where you add reactions and then you add uh, delta H values, right on. The rules are different though. What we've seen already is that when we uh, flip a reaction, we actually do one over the K value. And the general rule of thumb is equilibrium constants, everything that is, is multiplied and divided, whereas delta H values, everything is added and subtracted. So it's actually not that different in some ways. And when we talk about our next unit on thermodynamics, we'll actually bring equilibrium constants and delta H values together. And you'll be able to calculate one from the other, or at least Kc values uh, from delta H values. But the take home message here is Hess's law can be done, and uh, but instead of adding and subtracting the K values, we're gonna multiply them. Let's show you how that works here. So uh, we're gonna be creating this reaction here out of these two reactions. I can see that I've got uh, two HCl on the product side. So that means that I'm gonna to have to write this reaction just like it is. And any reaction I write just like it is, I keep its Kc value exactly the same. Next though, I see that I've got a 2HBr as a product, and here I've got 2HBr as a reactant. That means I have to flip the reaction, and when I flip the reaction, I'm going to do one over the equilibrium constant. Let's show you how that works, 2HBr. Now goes to hydrogen and bromine. And uh, I'm gonna write the Kc for this reaction and every reaction has its own Kc value. What I mean by that is I'm gonna write a Kc that is one over this number And mathematically, 1.3 1, 1 exponent 10, one over, I get 7.7, 7.69, 7 well, only two sig figs, I'm gonna go with 7.7, .7 times 10 to the minus 11. Yes, yeah, go ahead, Aziz. Uh, why do you flip it? Please, can you explain it? Sure. So if you're asking why did I take this reaction and flip it, it's because, so this is the reaction I'm trying to make, meaning I don't have a Kc value, but I have the Kc values for these two. I see two HBr gas as a reactant in the reaction I'm trying to make, I see two HBr as a product here. So to make this into this, I have to turn this into a reactant by flipping this reaction. So I took the products, made them reactants. I took the reactants and made them into products. Thank you. Yeah, so, and this again is very similar to Hess's law, which we did for delta H's uh, a few chapters ago. But now, but, yeah. So, and the rule is when you, now the last part, which is again, like Hess's law, when you add reactions, you multiply Kc values. And I'll leave some space to actually do the adding. But when you add reactions, you multiply Kc values.
and uh, you can also cross things out that are on both sides. I have H2 as a product, I have H2 as a reactant. That is going to leave me with the reaction I'm trying to create up top here. And I can show you that, and I always like to show this. I have my 2HBr, my chlorine, I have my 2HCl, and my bromine. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take four points, so Kc for the reaction in red is going to equal the first reaction's Kc value times the second reaction's Kc value. And when I multiply these two together, I get 4.0 exponent 18 divided by 7.7 .7 exponent 11 minus. Wait a minute. Sorry, I divided. I need to multiply. I don't I apologize. 4.0 exponent 18 times 7.7 .7 exponent 11 minus. I get this large number, which my calculator will not put into scientific notation for me, so I'm going to count my zeros. Three, six, seven, eight. 3.08 times 10 to the eighth. And it is true, I gave you the temperature. We never needed it to solve this problem. It's an extra piece of information. Any questions about this question, this problem? Any more questions?